that they have to have new straps for the Olympic Games and make sure they work really well as John Beasley brings his rider up to the start line. Reyes and like Hugelin started out in the BMX and uh, went to four world championships uh, on the BMX to switch to the track and it's uh, been very effective. the whistle well very very clear that the Malaysian wants to stay at the back as his coach held him for a second after the whistle was blown well it's a, a matchup you would think that uh, the Dutchman should have uh, the yeah. means to win fairly comfortably but it's a strange old thing this uh, the tactics that do play out yeah, it should definitely be another Dutch win, probably in very similar style to what we just saw. But when you have a match sprint like this with a man that's so much faster, there's not really much that Sharom from Malaysia can do. He's trying to put pressure on the Bersen to wind it up early. But the Dutch are too smart for this trick. And you would think too strong, but Sarom is going the long way around now. And De and is going to open it up as they will uh, come around and take the bell. Lovraison on the front. Sarom has got a lot of work to do here as the Dutchman puts the power down. Well, Sharon was hoping that the Dutchman would move a little bit higher and he'd be able to duck under him at the last moment. He got into the slipstream. Can he bring it home? No. Oh, nearly touched the wheels there. That's closer than uh, we thought it might be, but a very uh, good win by Harry Lebrasen now as he goes through to the last 16 directly.